Hello, this is a quick follow-up video uh, from my Lisa Ju coding challenge, which you can see running here in a 400 by 400 window in processing. What I'm gonna do in this video is take all this code, copy it into the P5.js web editor, and convert it all to JavaScript. Can I do that in just like five minutes and get it running in Canvas in the browser so you can use that code if you wanna make a browser-based version? Let's see. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm literally just gonna take all the code and copy-paste it. So I'm gonna do copy, and then I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna do paste, uh, save. So I'm in a, and then I'm also going to create, uh, and right over here in the sidebar, I can do like uh, add file, and I'm going to make a file called curve.js, and then I'm going to go into curve.js, come back to processing, get my curve tab, and uh, go over here and paste that in. So now I have both of those, and then I also just want to go into index.html and make sure that both, both JavaScript files are referenced. So now I'm ready to start porting. And I'm going to do this in the most manual way possible. I could use regular expressions or clever find and replace or write some code to convert it, but I'm going to do it kind of one variable at a time. So let, let, write all the data types. This is just, ah, you know what? Ah, I have an idea. Um, so I need to make a two-dimensional array in JavaScript, and it's a little bit uh, awkward. I remember I wrote a function once called make 2D array. This is somebody else's project, Minesweeper on CodePen, but look, there's my make 2D, 2D array function. Um, so I'm gonna uh, close that, and I'm gonna bring that into here, just put it at the top. So now I have this make a 2D array function. Uh, I'm gonna change the order of the arguments. Columns, rows, rows, columns. Ah. Hopefully, that's, hopefully that's not gonna, kill the, gonna do anything terrible. So this is function. This is create canvas. Ah, one thing that I need to do if I am doing any uh, integer arithmetic, I've got to use floor. Uh, floor, um, because, uh, because I want to take, I have to manually take off the decimal place. And then this is now uh, make 2D array rows columns. Uh, this is let, let, it keep going down. Function, let, 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 the let song, the let song, let, 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 the let song, the let song, let, 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 the let song, the let song, let, let, let. <laughs> this, you're, you're watching somebody sing the word let over and over again and um, copy paste let all everywhere. Okay. So I'm just going to take this out for a second because I don't want to know. I don't know how the saving is going to work. Uh, now, ah, class! Oh, thank goodness for ES6 classes. What a lucky day! But this needs to change to constructor. And now this dot, this dot. Never forget that this dot. There's going to be a lot of this dotting now in this. So I got to add this dot everywhere. This dot, this dot, this dot, this dot, this dot, this dot. This dot, where did I miss it? I don't need void. I don't need void. I don't need void. I don't need void. Oh, I don't need float. I don't need float. Ah, also, array list is not a thing we care about. Brackets, just a plain old array. And then I don't need void. And then, oh, this won't work, but I can say for let v of this dot path. And then I feel like, did I just add somewhere? Yeah, this has to be push. Clear? Is clear a JavaScript function? I guess we'll find out. Let me save. Run. Okay. Uh, make 2D array is not defined. Great job. Oh, because I have capital letters there. Let's put that in here. No, no, no. Don't reload the site. Just do this. Uh, P vector is not defined. Ah, okay. So that's also another one that I forgot. Uh, this has to be create vector. Uh, and uh, what, create vector. I think that should be good. And now, oh, current is not defined. Huh, what is going on here? Oh, this dot current. <laughs> this dot, this dot, this dot. <laughs> ah, current is not defined, line 37. Also, this dot, this dot. There we go, look at that. Lisa Chu, table in. JavaScript. Let's see how it performs. So by the way, this, this URL will be linked in the, in the video. Um, let's try, I forget how I do this. 
But if I do, I think if I say create canvas window width, is that what it is? MP5 window width, window height. That will give me the whole thing. There we go. And then if I do sketch or file, sh save, <laughs> file, one more, share, uh, full screen. Here we go. You know what? This is running faster. <laughs> Crazily, I feel like this is running faster. I should have just done this in JavaScript the whole time. I had this idea. And it looks, it's less like weirdly pixelated too. Or maybe it is. So look at that. That's beautiful. Um, view, I mean, I'm sure you can't see this because of, um, um, because of the YouTube compression. So let me just go back here and make this something much bigger, like 120. And um, let, me, uh, let me go view, enter full screen, and refresh. Refresh. Did I not save? Save. Refresh, there we go, and now here it is, your JavaScript Lisa Jew table. So if you prefer to work in JavaScript, you can take this code, remix it in the P5 editor and some other projects, share it with me, this.lisajew, uh, hashtag this.lisajew, and I look forward to um, seeing what you guys make. Okay, goodbye, seeing what you all make, goodbye. Ah. Oh, wait a second, it broke. Stop, stop the presses. Stop the presses. Clear is not a function. JavaScript, array, prototype. Uh, let's look at what it is, what there are, is. Uh, is there, like, I mean, I could just set it to a new array, but is there like some kind of just like clear it? I mean, splice all of it, shift all of it, reverse, reduce all of it. No, that's reduced to something else. Um, okay, I don't know what it is, but I'm going to go over here. And I know you can't see me right now. I mean, you can't see the code right now because I've done something horrible. You know what? I have a new key command. Oh, no. Ah, this one. Okay, you don't, I don't hear anymore, but you're looking at the code. Uh, and I, this is probably how I should do all my videos. <laughs> no one wants to look at me. Uh, where am I looking to? Uh, reset. Uh, curve. Reset. Where's reset? Ah, this.path equals... And here I come back. Hi, I'm back. And now save and now refresh. And here we go. Look, so I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave you with the end of this video watching this beautiful Lisa Jew pattern emerge. Goodbye. I'm still here. I'm still here. Goodbye. Enjoy. <laughs>